What is Earth's inner core made of? Like rain on your wedding day or a free ride when you've already paid, it's super ionic. Here's what you need to know. Earth's inner core is neither solid nor liquid, according to a new study in the Nature Science Journal cited by Science Alert. It's in what is known as a super ionic state. Scientists from the Chinese Academy of Sciences used computer simulations of how seismic waves would travel through different combinations of elements to calculate that hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon in hexagonal close-packed iron become superionic under the intense pressure and high temperatures of the inner core, meaning that while iron atoms remain solid in a crystalline lattice structure, the lighter carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen molecules diffuse through it, creating a liquid-like element. According to Science Alert, the superionic state could also be found at the heart of other planets in the form of superionic ice. Here, high temperatures and pressures break apart water molecules, leaving the oxygen ions to form a solid, while the hydrogen ions float around more like a liquid. And it's speculated that movement of the hydrogen flowing through the oxygen lattice could impact the surrounding electromagnetic field and perhaps help form a planet's protective magnetosphere. The latest study of Earth's core follows quickly on from a separate study last month that found Earth might be losing its heat faster than previously estimated, because Earth's core is better at radiating the core's heat outward than previously thought. The science direct study simulated conditions in the Earth's core by creating a mineral called bridgmanite, which only exists in the inner parts of the planet, and found that the mineral's thermal conductivity was 1.5 times higher than previously estimated. The Earth's inner core is growing unevenly. Here's why that process will eventually destroy us all. Earth's inner core grows 1 mm in radius per year, but its east side, beneath Indonesia, is growing faster than its west, beneath Brazil, because it is cooling at a faster rate, causing more iron crystals to form, according to a study in Nature Geoscience. The conversation explains that when Earth was formed, a lot of heat was captured within the planet, and as this has slowly escaped, the inner core's temperature has dropped below the melting point of iron, causing the formation of the crystals. Because of lower temperatures around the east side, iron crystals form more quickly. However, Earth's spherical shape is maintained by constant spinning and the force of gravity, which redistribute the extra mass evenly according to popular mechanics. To establish the disparity, scientists combined the fact that seismic waves travel much faster from north to south through the core than from side to side, with estimates of how iron alloys behave at high pressure according to the conversation. Popular mechanics attributes the disparity to Indonesia being covered by a mix of islands and expansive sea floor, which is a key place for heat to be shed. The study's lead author said cold tectonic plates diving below Earth's surface may be a cause. Heat loss in Earth's inner core is important because it drives the flow of liquid iron in the outer core, which in turn creates Earth's magnetic field. According to the conversation, in billions of years, cooling will lead to the whole core to become solid, which will leave Earth without its protective magnetic field and leave us exposed to solar and cosmic radiation. One question the study brings up is if lopsided cooling in the core could already be affecting the strength of Earth's magnetic field. We already know from the ESA that Earth's magnetic field has lost 9% of its strength over the last two centuries. That question is just one brought out by a spate of recent studies. For instance, traditionally, students have been taught that the Earth has four distinct layers, the crust, the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. But earlier this year, researchers from the Australian National University provided evidence of an additional layer inside the inner core. According to the study, which was published in the Journal of Geophysical Research, the inner core is made primarily of iron and nickel. The innermost core is composed mainly of iron and is around two-thirds the size of the moon. The authors of that study said this suggests that some sort of cataclysmic and previously unknown event occurred early in the Earth's history, perhaps as early as 4.5 billion years ago. Along similar lines, many scientists believe that the moon formed when a Mars-sized planet called Thea struck Earth around 4.5 billion years ago. And in March, a team of scientists theorized that Thea's remains are what formed two mysterious continent-sized blobs of rock buried deep in Earth's mantle. For decades, seismologists have puzzled over these two blobs, which sit below West Africa and the Pacific Ocean, and straddle Earth's core like a pair of headphones. Up to 1,000 kilometers tall and several times that wide, they are the largest thing in Earth's mantle, says Qian Yuan, a PhD student in geodynamics at Arizona State University who presented the hypothesis at the Lunar and Planetary Science Conference in March. 
As with the uneven growth theory, scientists notice that seismic waves from earthquakes abruptly slow down when they pass through the layers, which suggests they are denser and chemically different from the surrounding mantle rock. These blobs might simply have crystallized out of the depths of Earth's primordial magma ocean. But based on new isotopic evidence and modeling, Rim believes the blobs are the guts of the theoretical alien impactor planet. The core is obviously a rich field for new discoveries. But a 2018 study from MIT made that very literally the case, suggesting the interior of Earth is filled with a quadrillion tons of diamonds. Scientists estimated the diamonds are more than 100 miles below the surface, beneath the continental tectonic plates. The study estimated 1-2% to of the cratonic roots may be filled with diamonds, and a statement from MIT News said scientists came to this conclusion while they were trying to construct an image of what the Earth's interior might look like. Researchers created virtual rock models to test what material would allow sound waves to travel that quickly through the cratonic roots. The result was diamonds. Scientists came up with an estimate of around a quadrillion tons of diamonds by taking into account the total volume of cratonic roots scattered inside Earth. Finally, 2019 research found that roughly every 10 years, a phenomenon dubbed geomagnetic jerks causes Earth's magnetic field to change, and the core might be responsible. As previously mentioned, Earth's magnetic field is generated from the core and serves as a protection against solar and cosmic radiation. Whenever there is movement in the core, Earth's magnetic field shifts. When these movements occur suddenly, they are called geomagnetic jerks. According to a 2019 study published in the journal Nature Geoscience, Earth's sudden magnetic shifts may be caused by floating blobs of molten matter originating from the depths of the Earth's core. The team of researchers developed a computer simulation that mimics movements on the Earth's outer core over several decades, effectively recreating the conditions that take place right before a geomagnetic jerk will happen. The European Space Agency, or ESA, reports that clusters of spacecraft it had launched in recent years are showing that solar radiation is interacting with the Earth's core to create harmful electromagnetic microstorms on Earth. Scientists took data from a cluster of four ESA satellites orbiting far away from Earth and combined it with data from a trio of ESA satellites that orbit close to Earth to measure magnetic signals emanating from Earth's core, crust, and oceans. The data showed that an electromagnetic phenomenon called bursty bulk flows in outer space is connected to intense magnetic field fluctuations near Earth's surface. Bursty bulk flows are bursts of ions that travel at a whopping 150 kilometers per second. The new data shows that the fluctuations near Earth are connected to field-aligned currents high above Earth that contain these fast-moving bursty bulk flows. Scientists say they can now confirm that intense magnetic field perturbations near Earth are connected to the arrival of such bursty bulk flows farther out in space. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.